You've designed your tray, now it's time to print. So I'm going to review how we like to print using either a Sprint Ray or a Moon Ray 3 printers. Often we'll use the Moon Ray, part of it because it just has a smaller tank, and so we're using less resin. My concern is when I use my Sprint Ray Pro, I'm putting a lot of resin in. It's going to be heated over multiple times because each tray uses such a little bit of material. So we've dedicated that Moon Ray um, just for that, that printing application. One of the first things I always like to do is check to make sure my printer is actually on, and I also want to make sure that I'm connected. Now we run our Sprint Ray off of our office network, but our Moon Ray we like to run just direct. So I'll make sure that I'm connected. Then it's very simple. I'm just going to add my model. So wherever you have your have exported those SDL files out of 3Shape, go ahead and select your models that you're going to want to be printing. You'll see both the mandible and the maxilla. Those are going to be placed on the print platform, and they're going to be placed in a vertical position, but I prefer to print them horizontally, and I like to print them flat to the uh, print platform. Some people will use supports, but I found success without. Um, you're going to toggle on so that you can then select the base. It'll sit uh, both of your trays to your print platform. Also, check underneath. I'll roll that uh, the plate over to make sure that I can see an entire horseshoe. If you don't see an entire horseshoe, that means you're not directly flat on the plate. And go ahead and try to base it again. And then you're set. Um, now remember, when you print, you can print at 100 microns. Um, I like to print at 50 microns because it gives me a little bit of a clearer tray. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you select that 50 microns. Also select your material. Um, we currently use the Next Dent resin, but there's also a Sprint Ray IBT resin that's available as well. Usually if I'm going to check myself, if I take a look at each of my trays, they usually run between about 6 and 8 milliliters. Um, so it doesn't use a lot of resin. But what that helps me do is determine the thickness, particularly when I first started. Sometimes I print some that were very thick and some that were very thin. So I know that if I'm going six to six in the average say, uh, size arch, it's probably going to be about six milliliters if I'm going to be including sevens or have maybe a much larger arch, I'm going to be closer to eight. Now, as far as the print time, if I go at 100 microns, you're probably looking at about 45 minutes. If I'm going to bump that up or should say decrease the layer, which would be 50 microns, you're probably looking closer to an hour. So once your print is completed, then you can follow the instructions that we have for post-processing.